Hey guys, welcome to your 11th tutorial series, and uh, if you guys haven't seen the previous video, probably need to look at that one first, because it does relate to uh, the keyboard, and in this tutorial we're actually going to be going through it on how to make the keyboard disappear after we've inputted it, and uh, make it a little bit more user friendly. So again, the previous tutorial, as you click in here, we can specify the text field to a certain designated keyboard. So in this case, we've got the numerical keyboard. Um, URL it changes to the uh, basic QWERTY with the dot com and some other variants to help people with uh, inputting URLs etc but uh, what would be nice is if we could actually click in this open space similar to other applications to actually make the keyboard disappear rather than clicking this button down here to make the keyboard disappear so that's what we're gonna go through now and uh, so we're gonna close out the simulator and with this we're gonna roll into the the header file so as your your basic view controller, we've got our text fields, labels, and uh, we're going to establish our, our outlets here and establish our actions as well that we want to take place. So with this, um, we're going to identify our outlets. And so the one that we're going to do is just our, our text field out there, our phone number text field. And so we're basically going to put uh, establish that by IB outlet, UI text field, and then give it a name. So in this case, we're going to say this is a phone number, so we know which one it is. So after we've established our uh, outlet there, we're going to put some properties in, and then also our action of the screen touch. And so basically, we're saying as they touch the screen, we want to establish this action, and uh, we'll give that, and we'll hook the properties up to that as well. We're establishing a property here to our text field of phone number which we'll synthesize later once we move into the, the uh, implementation and uh, so once you've got this in here I want to pause so you guys can catch up inputting your text field and all that um, we're gonna roll over to the view controller zip file and we're gonna hook this all up before we can do that though we have to we have to put in what they call the button and the button is basically going to be one massive button that, that it covers the entire screen and it's basically going to be in the background catching the any touches to the screen which will then therefore trigger the action of um, getting rid of the keyboard so let's start with uh, just pulling out a regular rectangle button put it in your corner here um, we're gonna actually go in and put this send this to the back because as you cover up stuff you see the button overlaps everything so we want to send that to the back so once you get your button highlighted go up to your ed editor up to the top arrangement and then send it back and then it'll it'll basically be running in the background or have this button in the background the other thing we want to do to this button is over here in the attributes we're going to change the type from a rounded rectangular to a custom and so that's going to give us a little bit a uh, little bit more functionality give us the ability to make this um, our button for our, our disappearing of the keyboard here. We're going to stretch this across the, the entire screen. Um, and so you can't see it right now, but uh, it is across the whole thing there. And now we're going to go ahead and hook up the actions and the outlet that we have in place. Now again, when you're doing the actions and outlets, the outlet we're taking from the owner's manual and dragging it to the text field and we label that phone number. The other thing is we've got the button and as you guys see in the header file we've established this action. When the screen's touched it's going to resign the first responder and get rid of the, the display for us or the, the keyboard display. So that's the action that we're going to hook up to our button. And so again actions come from from your view controller to the brain here, the file controller and it's going to be event and the event is going to be a screen touch and so we're going to hook that up there now once you've uh, you've hooked them together you've got your outlet out there and you've got your action established and hooked together we're going to go into the implementation file give ourselves a little bit of space here and uh, we're going to synthesize and then also establish the method in which we want the action to accomplish here so in this case we're synthesizing because we had made in the header file we've made a property of the phone number and then we're uh, 
we're basically telling the action what's going to happen. The screen touch is going to take the phone number um, text field and it's going to resign the first responder. So it's going to dis it's going to get rid of the first responder of the keyboard through this. And so once you've got that in place, I'll let you guys uh, take a look at that real quick. This is what I've inputted here. And it's just after the implementation of the view controller here. Once you've got that in place, we're just going to go ahead and run it. And uh, it'll compile here. I'm going to blow it up for you guys again so you guys can see. Alright, so this field here is what we've designated. And we can simply enter any figures there. And before, we'd have to click that to get rid of the keyboard. With the implementation of what we put in there with the IB action of the screen touched anywhere, it should display, disappear, which it does. So that's perfect. So that gives us a little bit uh, more functionality, a little bit use more usability with getting rid of the keyboard with a rectangular button lingering in the background. And that button is basically capturing any kind types of touching on the screen. So one one last thing that I want to run through um, before before we wrap this up is this can actually be expanded upon right here with multiple with multiple outlets and so in this case we've got uh, two different text fields we've got the phone number text field and we've got the UR text field we can also expand it upon if they're in here and then they click on the side it's gonna also mm -hmm. get rid of the keyboard there so same thing you just add it down here after you've established your um, outlet let's say the next one is URL and then resign oops Design first responder, and so that's how you can expand upon it and uh, make it make it. Uh, I'd have to put something else here. That's how you can make it more user friendly for additional fields on the same screen. So it does give a little bit more um, functionality as well. So that kind of sums it up as far as the getting rid of your keyboard and uh, make it a little bit more user friendly. Stay tuned, again we're going to be going through some more of the basics and then hopping into some of the more advanced features as well. So, peace out guys.